Hi, my name is Garrett. I'm an IT volunteer with Let's Get Together, and today I'd like to talk to you about an important consideration for using a laptop with a docking station to uh, avoid damaging either. So, in the bag that you would have received from Let's Get Together, uh, you'll find three parts. Get the power adapter, nicely coiled up. There's a docking station. And, of course, the laptop. HP Elite Book G3 or equivalent, um, with some, uh, some really spiffy stickers on them. First, regarding the power adapter, make sure you undo the Velcro so that you can unravel the cord. Uh, the cord will get you up to about six feet away from your laptop. Next, I'd like to talk to you about the docking station. If you pick it up and look around the back, it's light. It's not del it's not delicate, so uh, yeah, try not to drop it though. We have a couple uh, connections across the back. These are for video. Should you need another monitor, uh, an Ethernet port for physically connecting to your modem if you need to. Uh, the laptop comes with Wi-Fi, so you shouldn't need to. And then some additional USB ports. But the important one we have is the power connector here. And you'll see when I connect this connection in that we now have a little white light um, shining there. That's just to show that you have power to the docking station. Now, what's important to note about the docking station is how the laptop connects. This push connector must go fully into the laptop in order for it to um, work correctly. There's two guides that the laptop will fall into nicely and then a hooks that will hold the docking station in place so that it's firm. Uh, those hooks release when you do this so that you can remove your laptop. You must make sure that the connector goes all the way across so you can hear the clicking. If it's not, and it's partially uh, there, you could damage the uh, either the docking station or the laptop. It's open. Once it's on a level desk or a table or other work surface, um, we can try and put the laptop. Um, in order to make sure you've got it in the right position, uh, the logo for HP should be upside down, including the stickers. That way, and then you just go just past the docking station as close as possible and then slide towards you and you'll feel the laptop just drop into place. I push the, the push connector across, you'll see a light here if the laptop needs a charge. There will also be an orange light on the laptop. And you know that you have power and you're ready to go. You can lift the screen at this time. I always put my fingers to make sure it's firmly in place. We can start from the top left corner of the laptop or the top right corner of the docking station. There you go. If you need to undock while the lid is open because you're running run off battery, that works very well too. Just keep in mind that when you're putting it back into place, just in case you're in a hurry, you want to damage it, always fully in, fully out. Thank you and enjoy.